what is no. I did like this. Go away. I did like this. I'm following you, Jess. Is the Lagwaja dance step? So that's Lagwaja by Perizzi, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know Lagwaja is in real life. You need to see what you are doing and what Onipot is doing. But you need to see what you're doing. First of all, remove the login because you are doing like this. No, I was just like, oh, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, guys, you just can't go wrong with the E Splash music and movie combo. Yes. It's a formula that always works. Always. Yes, yes, yes. If you're lacking ginger and you need a quick pick me up, you might want to keep it locked right here for the next two hours, okay? Yes, sir. Or if your day is already going well and you want to make it even better, ladies and gentlemen, we got you covered. Wonder. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. This is Roy Ines and Flyness. I go by the name King OJ, but you can call me OJ. That's, That's what, what it is. It is, it is what, what it is. It is. It's your homegirl right here. It's your girlfriend next door. It's the jewel in the crown. And of course, it's your hostess with the mostest. My name is Honeypot. Ooh, all right, guys. My name is Arika, and I'm the one with the dimples, okay? Yes. All <laughs> right, what do we have for you today on the show? We'll start off with the entertainment news, then take today's celebrity birthdays, and of course, rewind to this day in entertainment history. And of course, Arika will bring us today's dose of social media craziness on Sweetview. Later, we'll chew it off. Then take the news recap. On today's daily tip five, we will take a look at five Nollywood movies to look out for in 2020. Later on, we'll tell you all about the movies and TV shows we are recently watching or watch. All right? Yes, guys. And to wrap up all, I mean, to wrap up the show, rather, we'll bring you Where Are They Now? We'll be back with today's news stories. Stick around. Yes, thank you so much, guys, for staying here with us. And we get straight into the entertainment news. Alex Ekubo gets chieftaincy title. Nollywood actor Alex Ekubo has been conferred with a chieftaincy title in Imo State for his illustrious contribution to the industry. An excited Alex Ekubo took to his Instagram page to share series or videos of his installment yes, ceremony with the caption, allow me to reintroduce myself I, Alex Ekubo of Arochuku, Abia State, has just been coronated Ikuku of Amumara Town, Mbese, Imo State. At the just concluded Iriji New Year Festival, please moving forward, when you see me, address me as a chief. It's official, Ikuku is not a nickname. Hashtag Igbo Amaka, congratulations, Chief Alex Ekubo. Yes, so chief in capital letters, by the way. So chief. It doesn't say that. Alex Ekubo. It's true now. We Congratulations. We don't know. Boys, my entire into. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really happy for Alex Ekubo. Um, congratulations. Big, big congratulations to him. He's done an amazing job in the industry as an actor. And also, I, I know that he, he also um, speaks up against different, you know, political issues. Mm -hmm. So he's literally like an advocate, advocate yes. for the people. So, I mean, well deserved. Congratulations, Chief, chief Alex. So, but when? so are, are there some roles that you can take now and some that you cannot? Well, I'll say that an actor is an actor. So when you so when you're chief when you're acting, <laughs> no, when, 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 when he's on set, it's not it's chief. not Al Chief Alex. So I can slap he's, him. He's, he's playing a character. So I can slap his character. Why do you have to slap his character? Why are you <laughs> insisting on slapping his character? The king won't slap Chief. It's the worry. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah, up, and down. up and down, up and down. What is today? Congratulations, Tuesday. Tuesday. Be no, careful. I'm, not, I'm not that guy. Congratulations, <laughs> Chief Alex Ekuvo. Okay, we'll try. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to some more story. Big winners at the Emmy Awards 2020. Yes, it was a beautiful evening for Hollywood movies as the 72nd Primetime Emmy Awards held at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. But due to the current pandemic, the event was held digitally for the first time. The ceremony, which was hosted virtually by Jimmy Kimmel, saw winners accepting their awards remotely, virtually and digitally. Big winners of the night include Canadian Riches to Rag comedy sitcom S. C-H-I-T-T's Creek, which took home seven awards out of 15 nominations in every comedic category, including Lead Actress, Lead Actor, Best Supporting Actor and Actress, Best Writing Episodic, Best Direction and Best Overall Comedy. Superhero Drama Watchmen grabbed four awards, including Outstanding Limited Series and Acting Trophies for Regina King and Yahya Abdul-Martin II, while Succession claimed four awards, which include Outstanding Drama Series, Lead Actor for Jeremy Strong, and Writing and Directing. 
Other winners include Uzo Aduba, who won the supporting actress in a limited series or movie for a role in Mrs. America, while Marco Fallo took home lead actor for HBO's I Know This Much Is True. Euphoria star Zendaya became the youngest winner in the drama actress category at age 24, topping Jodie Koma, who was 26 when she won last year for Killing Eve. Tyler Perry received the Governor's Award in recognition of his work and inclusivity and philanthropic efforts. Eddie Murphy won his first Emmy for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series for Saturday Night Live during the Saturday's Creative Arts. Yes, massive congratulations. Congratulations to Everyone. them. I was just so shocked that it's the first time Eddie Murphy would be winning an Emmy Award. What were they looking at? It's shocking why did it I mean, why did it take so long? Uh, what is this woman too that won her first one in the Creative <laughs> category too. We talked about it last week on the news, in the news. Um, it's just crazy. Um, what's, what's her name? Yeah, um, I can't remember her name. Yeah. So most of these people, it's shocking that, let's just say they're including, including, including everybody right now. That's what it because is. Because I am wondering if, I mean, you can switch it to Nigerian case. I'm just wondering, yeah. like these mm -hmm. people, they'd say. They would have won it. I mean, I'm surprised about the Ed Murphy one as well. Like, you're off me. But then at, at the end of the day, congratulations to everyone. Like, this is huge. I liked I liked what they did at the award ceremony. Like, uh, Jimmy Kimmel was hosting. Mm -hmm. There was nobody in the audience. But what they did, they superimposed their last year or past Audi uh, audience yes, past right events yeah. of the show. So I posed it. So you think the real audience are right there. Yeah. It's there. just beautiful. Crazy. No, Very beautiful. creative. Look I love that. Yay, yeah, 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 I see. Calm. No, I think people should do it. Calm of life. So I think it gives a feeling. <laughs> yes. It makes you think that people are right there and you're watching, watching, you're watching, watching it, yeah. a live exactly. show like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And yeah. it even help the host as well with yeah. energy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, congratulations to them. Moving on to the final story. Cardi B talks on divorce from her husband Offset. American rapper Cardi B has come out to share the reason why she's requesting for a divorce from Migos rapper Offset after three years of marriage. She made the revelation via Instagram Live video where she stated that the reason for their split was not because of Offset's infidelity and also not as a result of any publicity stunt for our upcoming album. She stated, I've seen all the love and prayers that you guys have been sending me. However, I don't really need it. I'm okay. I wanted to let y'all know I have no, I have not shed one tear. Every single time that this guy has been so crazy, so blipped up, and it's and it hits the media, I'm always crying, always sad because I don't like that type of blip. This time, I wasn't crying. You want to you want to know why? The reason for my divorce is not because of none of that blip that ever happened before it's because of cheat it's not because of cheating i'm seeing people be like oh he has a baby on the way that's a old blip blip complete lie that's the second time people are trying to pin babies over over here no that's blip blip she further explained that sometimes people really do grow apart in our words she said nothing crazy out of this world happened sometimes people really do grow apart i've been with this man for four years i have a kid with this man i have a household with this man sometimes you are just tired of the arguments and the build up you just get tired sometimes and before something happens you leave hmm. Hmm. you would have used Cardi B's voice with doing all those things and the blip blip was too much like it was even no. like I a tongue twister for me Cardi cannot she cannot talk straight she understand without cursing yes <laughs> so, so the thing is eh, Cardi is just telling you she's direct like I don't need all those prayers I don't need all those talks I did not even shed one, one tear. tear please Mind your business. We what are divorcing. This thing is not working. So I don't guess. It's like, this is like, oh, I'm not going back. I'm not going to take anything back. So when I saw this Instagram live, <laughs> and so people were actually saying that it might be a publicity stunt. No, when she not addressing her, I said, hmm. Um, I agree with her when you say that, you know, the build up and everything. You know how people always ask this question? And I think it's a generic thing. Do, do partners really truly forgive their partners after cheating? Mm -hmm. You know, or they just stay there and milk the whole thing, the attention and the fact that the person is trying to do right by you and just enjoy it or whatever it is. Time ago, according to, yeah. Yeah, but happen. then again, they you never, on. those things don't ever, I don't know, like you never forget So you just things. decide that one day you're tired, you just want to No, move it's on. not just the cheating. It's like they're constantly arguing. So it's getting to a point where it's toxic. And before it gets worse, I think this is a good decision okay. to leave. Okay. Rather than be there and then everything gets messy and then we start hearing, oh, offset shots, this person shot, that person broke this person. Yeah. So it's just better to walk 
away if you know that it's not working. It's getting too, you hmm. know, toxic. Publicity for you. stunts. Even mm -hmm. when they, when there's one in so. them, even when there's one in them, that this should not be any publicity stunt because hmm. it's not working. Because we it's see, not work. Number one, these two people are, work, are crazy people. Mm -hmm. Both of them are gangsters. But then mm. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> you know, marriage comes with a lot, yeah. a lot. And you have to be able to forgive a lot, too. Mm -hmm. And I believe, again, that it's an individual thing. Again, yes. like, okay, what you're able to take and what you're not, not. able to take. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we wish them the best. Mm. Happy birthday to you, Caribbean. and... Uh, Happy birthday. Well, that's the slang on the street of Kini. Happy birthday when you to you new... No, I'm just saying, because these days, people even celebrate divorce. They, they bake cake. They have different, like... I'm okay. just saying, happy birthday to you, but before, this is the real birthday that we are getting into. That is the celebrity birthday <laughs> shot. So stop looking at me like that, Arika. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm Would it not grow? What is wrong with you? Wake you know, up! You know, you know, you know, you do grow, though. No, you t when you see these people, you'll be like, ah, this small boy of that time. Honestly. Look at him with beards and everything now. When I saw Isare saying something about how Kiki Palmer might be in insecure, I'm like, no. She's no, a small child. No, no, no. Don't do that. Akila so Debi. We, we need to outgrow these people. Like, uh, they've we'll grown, try. so we need we'll to outgrow that thing. Happy birthday. So you know Happy that, birthday. You know that thing they say that it is where the older people or the elderly people are, that's the young people will meet them. So that's like translating the Yoruba thing into the English. So that is what it is, actually. Mm. All right, one happy birthday. <laughs> a very happy birthday to everybody who's celebrating today. It's a very beautiful time to be alive, mm -hmm. okay? We celebrate you. Mm -hmm. We're sending you happiness, mm -hmm. love, joy, light, mm -hmm. everything. But you know what? <laughs> Money, you have to work hard for it. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. kiss the America. We did, okay. not, we did not see you. What's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We part on you we accept it. I said today is my birthday. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll move it on. We'll go on a quick break. I'll be back for more right here on the show. Stay yeah. with us. Okay, so you know one thing about Tuesdays, because right here, Tuesdays are always very different. Mm -hmm. The music, when you hear the music, you know that, ah, it's abroad, yeah. Is, I know, this is Tuesday, like some old tech <laughs> kind of mix with, uh, you know, different, different international Very foreign style. stuff. Like, we are global like that. On yes, this sir. Class. What do you think? Yes, yes sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now time for, for today's history lesson. Take a look at Rewind. Let's rewind. On this day in 1983, the Evelyn brothers reunite after 10 years. And in 1994, Friends, the TV sitcom created by David Crane and Marta Kaufman debuts on NBC, starring Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, Matthew Perry, and David Schumer. Finally, in 1997, still on this day, Elton John releases Candle in the Wind 1997, a tribute to Diana, Princess of Wales in the US. And that's it on Rewind. I honestly cannot love Sir Dowdal any less. Like, OMG, the gong always in the songs, like... Guys, that's the Dowda right there. Wait, see me, two of my face on one song titled Woman. I'm so Dowda is like, family, and if you love good music, you definitely love Sir Dowda. It's absolutely. Cecilia. So okay. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. It is time for Tweetville. Time to find out today's latest in social media humor and savagery. Come with me. Let's do this. Are you ready? So, guys, if you have been on social media, actually on Twitter and even Instagram too, Shah, you would have seen this thing. So, this is, is it a cat? I would call it on waiting. It's a cat and a teacher mm. looking at the book. Mm. This meme, so you have to create your own, you know, um, caption or whatever. Caption yeah. this type of thing. So, Sunday Odeinka says, teacher, that's the woman right there. Which iPhone came after iPhone 5? Me. That's the cat. iPhone 6. Teacher. <laughs> so why did you write leg big bang? iPhone 5, leg big bang. This is like, why you have listened to too much, you know. You're gonna be writing rubbish. Oh. I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> and this uh, this thing here, this Who thread is this long thing? on Twitter, guys. It's a mess. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this is another one. Teacher says, come after what comes after 30? The video son, if I 31. Teacher says, then why did you write why did you write BG? 30 BG, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> why did you not use that? 30 BG. 30 BG, ladies and gentlemen. Like, you probably have his father's voice. 30 BG, teacher. <laughs> Sorry, let's just let's just, let's move on. Oh, very not. oh my god, <laughs> this thing is is wild on Twitter. Like, people are just funny. Teacher says, what comes after five, six, seven, eight, nine? Me. Ten. Teacher. So why did you write a lie your mini? <laughs> See, this thing can happen to me. This one, I'm guilty of no, this, this one. No, this is something you can do. I know. This one, because, no, it's not. Because you say, you say, ah, I did not know. I was just playing. And I think I feel like I'll be ringing your head. I lie, you're meaning. But the correct answer is supposed to be 10. It's supposed to be 10. Don't, don't lose focus. I lie, meaning we land me in trouble. <laughs> and the way the cat is looking at this thing. Oh, that's what oh, I don't mess wrote. up. Ah, yeah, I don't God. mess up. <laughs> ah, God. This one says, teacher, what are the most important things and elements in water? Chifobi, hydrogen, and oxygen. Teacher, so why did you write my container? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's
is a chief of me. And they want evil man. Look at the cat to see when that evil cap. Cap. Why? <laughs> you people stop. Uh, uh, no. Chief of me says hydrogen and oxygen. I say, so why did you write my container? My container. That's what's on the man's mind. This yes, container no. is on the water. It's always on the water. <laughs> it's always on the water. What if it's... Water go. What if it's... Can I say, importer, exporter. <laughs> All the things are really, really funny. What? Water go. Like, you guys, this is just... You for us. Okay, so I, I, I remember posting this on my page. And when I said, I was like, yeah. When y'all be talking for just two days and he calls you baby, like, bro, bro, what? Holy day. Wait, 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 wait. Holy. Wait, it's just been two days, baby. Ah, mm -mm. So you say you're calling him baby? No, darling. Okay. How are we talking for just two days and the next thing says, how are you, baby? But what eh? if he's seen, what, but what if he's seen that the relationship will become... Okay, it's too early for baby. It's too early. So it's just two days. When should start calling you, you baby? Don't... Wait. You probably have done the first date. Mm -hmm. Then the second date, well, yes, he has called, so see, he has, the second one, day he has called to check up on The reason I can relate to this one is, the two people that did this thing, I've never even seen them in my life. He just hit me up for two days, two, two it's days. It's already seen the future Fam. now. But you girls like that to be calling you people sweet, sweet names now. When we are in, like, in the relationship, darling, not, I'm just talking to you, you just started talking to me, you hit me what up, you, and I'm like, hi, what's what up? What do these ladies want, to be getting Bongo. to know each other? Wait you cannot you, be babying me. Wait till now once. What if I'm in a relationship and I'm just wait being nice Wait till now once, two days, wait till now once. Two days, wait till now once. I don't even understand, three things. Two days, wait till now once. Ask yourself, ask yourself. OJ. Okay, let me run you through the conversation. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Oh, I reached out to you, blah, blah, blah. Next thing, good morning. How's your day? Good. Then the next morning, hey, baby. Ba baby, to you. It shocks me when somebody I just met to, for the first time, the person called me. I wanted to end the call and said, love. Take care love of you. love. I said, ah, ah. Love, kill you there. But that's how we do it outside the country. You, oh, are, you, really? you people, oh, God, Nigerians. You ah. do? Ah. Guys, moving on. Uh, we, I don't know the country OJ is talking about. Uh, it cannot even be anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so this is someone says, um, please let's vote. Let's vote for Nengi to one. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky go now say, Nengi we won. Let us <laughs> win. I mean, uh, past tense not to one. Bad girl. <sighs> Let us we win. Because we are in the present. Next, Nengi, next she don't win before. So, so she has won. Let's just move on. Move it down. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you get it, you get before it. Nengi, I can't before Nengi fans will come and drag you. Ah, like generator. I guys, I don't know if you guys have seen this thing trending on Twitter where they will post pictures. I think <laughs> I should do a, this. They will post a picture of like something really cute, whether a car, it could be like a guy and a girl, but then they'll make it blurry and very fudgy. So they'll not be like, hey. it goes soon clear. I never pay finish. Nah, so when they finish paying for this car, you'll it's see not the, you'll you'll see see the, the picture. I like this. The one, the one my friend posted yesterday was, like we saw this really cute couple. So she, I don't know how she edited the thing. The thing was how really blurry. She said, hmm. when my own come, it go clear. <laughs> <laughs> when we pick wedding date, it go clear. I say, ha. You know, but I like you, it. I you know, like but the thread is crazy I on Twitter. Like but I think that this one should even be linked to it. The one somebody sent to our university group yesterday and just said that, what, uh, what car can your salary afford? And somebody said, car, 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 <laughs> that is very, 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 very smart. Because it was so clear. <laughs> Moving on, Masterpiece says, been dating this guy for seven months. Oh, God. Men are what? Let's keep, let's, let me just read it first. Been dating this guy for seven months, and today, he asked me why I don't have a boyfriend. Uh -uh. So, you are the one dating him. Uh -uh. Did he tell you he was dating you? Are you, you see, cow? you did see, did the world is I wicked. I knew that you were going to come from what? that angle. What? what if he was just doing less hangouts, let's do lunch, okay. let's do breakfast, and you are taking us? We are not on the shower. I remove my shoe. I'm not <laughs> So I think this is another threat. Because your brain got a reset. <laughs> this is another threat. Too much because violence. Because I saw one clip. Messi Johnson and another person. They were now in the car. And they were acting. They were ah, uh, ah. Uh, they uh, okay. said, so tell me, your my girlfriend, some something. I'll say. Uh, you now. Now say, ah, uh, ah, uh, why are you, you must be joking. <laughs> yeah. Why are you funny? <laughs> ah. But, but. I will just stop the car. But, but. You but, will just get out. But let's, let's, let's look at it like this. What if this guy is just asking you, let's do dinner, let's do breakfast. I You're like, I like, I like, I like on. your company. Let's, because we vibe. So we vibe on a particular level, but 
there's no OJ, relation. I did not tell you. OJ, the first problem you have is you don't first of all understand the meaning of dating. No. If I start, so, hold on a second, bro. Mm. If I start talking to you, mm. I'm going on dates with you. I'm hanging it's with you. It's a relationship. You. We're not in a relationship. We so, are dating. There's a difference between being in a relationship mm. and dating. Mm. So we are dating. And I can't be dating for seven months. Come on, we're exclusive. Mm. Because the tone that we should take you. <laughs> I you saying I'm losing my accent most months. So that is why I'm telling you people, because I don't even understand how you want me to do like that. Mm. But what I'm saying here yeah, is that eh, mm. people, be careful, though. Be asking part time, like every morning. Who are we? What am I to you? Like, ask that question every, every day, day, every blessed day, because you know what? Even before the day uh, ends, ask again, because <laughs> the way things are changing, where down, hmm. where down. Hmm. Mm. That is out today. It's raining on Sunday. It's not raining anywhere. That's, that's from a female. It is apple. So you have to ask. Don't say we say, we're, and if you say we are just having fun, guys. Carry I'm talking to all the genders, so 34 plus. Can't we just have fun? Uh, what fun? Ugh. You don't know amusement park. <laughs> I'm not good there. You don't know that name. <laughs> so, so what Pengman says, at this point, Facebook is just for remembering birthdays and nothing more. Um, do you agree? Who is on this? I'm raising my hand. No, Two hands, I, I still go on Facebook. To do what? I mean, I still post pictures every... Like, on Facebook? Really? Yes. I have people there who I'm going to disappoint because I took some time off and they were angry. We are just there to Maybe remember I birthdays. Because so. they even sent me SMS of, of, of people's birthday, Facebook. You connected it to your, so that it would just be legit. I hope yeah. that all the other uh, 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 platforms that you are using will not disgrace you one day and then you not come back. Because at the end oh, of the day, yeah, fa Facebook still has the most population. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mark, Mark, don't pay your Bele, Lagos. <laughs> well, maybe because of this Facebook something that they are going to create in Lagos. <laughs> Please don't. I am available. See, you see that Facebook office. They should do Instagram because once anybody accounts, anybody act the accounts, man, we're going they to... Bust, they bust your door, man. We break the office. <laughs> Moving on. So, M says, my salary needs to match what I paid for my degree. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> the Morris and I and all of us that went to Federal University, we say, I went to a federal university. God forbid this prayer. Lord, could you so I reject it in the mighty Father Lord. Eh? 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 Please, let's be guided. You, if you went to a federal and state university, reject this prayer. You, can't, you don't even want to imagine the Your amount salary I paid for like five finish school. It so was private, private investor, I mean. So 45 Even when they increased my... Uh, Why it was like 100 and something. Why are people disgracing us? <laughs> no, you, not disgracing you us. Let I others, was too happy. You let all those convenance to them be looking at you people now like if you are nobody. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's my I, brother could even I didn't, do MBA. Going back after, I, did, after. I, did, I, did, I did not school yet, so I cannot relate. So <laughs> let's just keep it moving. I am telling you. In the name of Jesus, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Welcome back. We reject this prayer. I on behalf of all of us that went to Virginia and State University. Where some state universities are expensive. You know, I think state last universities week. are expensive, sure. But, but especially not as expensive as... Federal, 15K. As, yeah. State, 45,000. 45 times 4. 180 k That would not be my salary. Go for it. If you hear the amount that I pay, you will say, ha. Okay. <laughs> on that note, on this prayerful note, ladies and gentlemen, that's it on today's Twitch video. And of course, the first hour of the show, too. Oh my God. We'll see you at one for lots, lots of movie talks. Stay with us. Yes, thank you so much for staying here with us. Welcome back to the second half of the show. It's now time to chew it off. Time for us to vent about what's bothering us. Take your foot. I'm good, ladies and gentlemen. Are you always good? Yeah, I am. You think? Yeah. <laughs> What's your problem? Okay, let's because you're angry. Your problem because, <laughs> you're uh, angry already. Uh, I don't know yeah. whether I, from your problem, I would you take your problem. from the... Okay, what's, what's your problem? Something. Online vendors. Yeah? Avoid me. <sighs> it's your problem. Av just avoid me. Now, two things. They are the ones that you do what I would advise. Now, there's, a, there's a, actually a trend, and there's, there's some, there are even some pages that I follow that their content every week is on this week's episode of What I Ordered versus What I Got. Do you understand that that is you bringing shame mm -hmm. to the rest of us that also sell online? Uh -huh, true. Dragging us. One, you're making it very difficult for other people to patronize those that are actually legit 
online and sell whatever they put on their pages. Like what I sell, that's why I model them myself or I get a model and I do photo shoots so that you see what we have and stuff. And even with the fans that people can see, they will zoom in, they will do videos, they will do everything. They will still need like one million days to convince them that this thing is the way you, you as in is legit. What you are seeing right now is what you will get. <laughs> Let me put down what happened. Then you not see those ones that we buy from. They will tell you no refund. I understand no refund policy, but there should be exchange. Abby, hmm. yesterday my friend ordered um, a swim um, a bodysuit. Uh, which friend? I think looked um, a friend of mine. You know her, Cleopatra. Damn. She ordered. <laughs> <laughs> she ordered <laughs> <laughs> she had one bodysuit like that, that in the picture it was leather and it was yes daddy that was written on it. We were like, oh matter, you know, chilled. <laughs> By the time the tea arrived yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> yes daddy with exclamation, turn to yes dadu with question mark. It's a lie. Yes dadu. Then it was looking like leather in the picture. When the tea arrived, it's like rubber, it's like wire. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> the material is like her. When you now wear it, the way it stretches, then she asks for extra large. They gave her medium. Yeah. Everything, they, they, everything just castigate. What happened? Like you're filming in a space where, when I want to buy online, I'm always scared. And this is me, it's sad because I'm also an online vendor. So yeah. it's, it's hard. Like, why do people do these things? It, it doesn't make sense. Please, if you know that you cannot sell these things, don't bother. What's up to you? It's not necessary. You said that what's up to you? Thank you, Arike, for this rant. Yeah. As if I knew. You too. The reason I said I was going to actually take a cue, perhaps I would. So Definitely I will. Because this is, you have seen my mind. This is what is what is happening to me right now. Are like at the moment. And I've told the person that I am going to come on TV, drag the person, yeah. go online, drag the person like a bag of rice. I usually don't do this. What but I'm going to do this. Because right now I ordered a two-piece online i sell online too and of course i don't want to be in the situation where people will be dragging me so i come correct every now and then and then you sent me the stuff we accepted i said this is how i look oh you said okay we agreed on large you will send large size to me and then i just checked the stuff because after wearing the top and i saw that the thing did not even come down my hey, chest hey. like the thing was standing here i was not like ah let me even check. I now saw small. I sent you a message. Excuse me, I just received this and I sent you the picture. And I'm like, this is not even my... And we did not agree on small size. We agreed on large size. So you told me that, eh, uh, well, when I checked the large size, too large, large, large. Hey. But did you get back to me to, to me, tell me yeah. that it is large? And then I tell you what I... And then, please, what do we do at this point? You said uh, your policy is that you don't refund and but you don't... exchange though. And I'm just saying here that, excuse me, the way this thing is going, I might not even want an exchange. What do I want? I want my money. Hmm. What? Because this dragon, eh? Huh. Oh, gbele, gbele, gbele. Hmm. I see this one, Chebe, I've, I've even explained hmm. the stuff. I've not even mentioned the brand. So the next time, yes, it sorry. might just be me sorry. ranting, and it might just be me down. dragging you like a bag of sorry. rice. Because sorry. you know what? Sorry. You are getting on my nerves. Sorry. I love peace, sorry. but peace, sorry. please, in this life. Hmm. Sorry, hmm. sorry. I, 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 I get where y'all are coming from. I was from. my friend. Yeah. I didn't even know that I was. <laughs> wow. It's still this matter that we are yeah. settling. I get, I get uh -huh. where y'all are coming from. I'm somebody that do not like to buy things online. Online, oh, there's no fair. And I was shocked. I even just even thanked one because I ordered for stuff and the person sent exactly what is on their page. I just even actually sent the person a message this morning that... That's how you're supposed I'm to super, be. I'm super impressed because I don't, I do not trust these people. I order those things with the mindset that of it might not be, it might not be exactly, it might not be exactly what things. I That's my problem. I have bought hair before and I just wanted to go and tell that person that ah, ah, this thing that you sold to me and collected my money, the thing did not even enter tongue. The thing was just doing like yeah. a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just went back to the page. I did not see the page again. Scam page. Jackpa. See, nice guys, one. we can do better. Because yeah. you're affecting our own market. We that we sell online. We can't yeah. make money now. Yeah. Ah. Please, let's be guided. Men are no vex. Because mm -hmm. nah, I don't even vex, it's like if, if you can catch somebody, you can just slap somebody briefly. Like. I am vexing, though. Sorry, sorry. No? Okay, moving on. I am vexing, sorry. actually. Moving on. It's wow. time for a quick recap of the entertainment <laughs> Better. news. Alex Ekubo gets Chieftain's title. Uh -huh. <laughs> and of course, we talked about this one. Big winners at the Emmy Awards 2020. And finally, Cardi B talks on divorce from husband. Of sad. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen, Daily Top 5 is up next. So we'll, you see, we'll see you soon. Let's pacify on the fourth. We'll see you guys soon. Uh -huh.
yes, the, the birthday boy. Me, I just want to yesterday. ask a question. Where, where is our brother Chidenna? <laughs> he he still call he Guys, I <laughs> it's just chilling. left the group chat. It's chilling. Only pot is now admin. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Interesting storyline right there. Like, OJ, would you fight for me like that? Is someone else trying to get married? That's not a smart thing. Uh -uh. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, sorry, thank you. Wow. It's like. It's like. It's like. Nengi, it's like. Oh, Nengi. <laughs> <laughs> I am done, guys. Welcome back to the show. Okay, guys. Today's movie. Yeah. You know, movie and music. So, yes, yes it's time to talk about movies. It's like. Well, with the movie industry gradually getting back on its feet, many of the movies that had set fans high in anticipation before the pandemic will soon be released in cinemas and on the streaming platforms. Yes, the wait is almost over. And because we're so excited, we have compiled a list of five Nollywood movies to look out for before the end of the year. This is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Number one is citation honestly guys lately the anticipation for this film has been on the rise produced and directed by my papa claire for liar citation narrates the audios faced by a female postgraduate student maremi which was played by temi otedola or played by temi otedola rather who is forced to find a way to deal with an awkward situation of sexual harassment from a popular male lecturer Professor Lucien Ndiara. Now the movie teaser promises suspense and drama, and I'm sure like many of us, you're eager to see Temi Otedola's acting debut. Yes, guys, all the cast members include Jimmy John Louis, Iniedo, Ibukun Awoshika, Gabriel Lafolayo, among many other actors. Citation is said to be exclusively released on Netflix next month. Yes, I can't wait. One -on -one contact with Professor Ndiari was after a tutorial class. I'm excited wow. and I'm looking forward to this one, honestly. Um, I know that Kula and Fly hasn't really done major work. I think Mokalik was just the thing, yeah, by the way, like he was just them. having fun. But this is like another project that he's legit working on and he's been talking about it for so long. So finally seeing it everywhere, I'm excited. Uh, I can't wait to see it, honestly, like I've not seen it before. I am excited about it, so I can't wait to see it. And as you mentioned, that would like to see Temi Otedola act a mm -hmm. debut. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I even want to see what a background is in the, I mean, that character, Marimi, mm -hmm. what a background is in that movie, especially mm -hmm. with the fact that she bears Marimi and she can't even speak Yoruba very well. And she was speaking French. And she was speaking French. Marimi, and then she was speaking French in it, yeah. and all of those. Like, I can't actually to wait. See the taste. Mm -hmm. All right, number two, on our list, Oluture. Yes, Oluture is the story of a young and naive journalist who goes undercover a prostitution ring to expose the shady underworld of human trafficking. In the movie, we see Oluture's friendship with Blessing. Linda and Beauty bloom even in their difficult position. However, in her quest to uncover the truth, she bites off more than she can chew and pays a heavy price. The Ebony Life production stars Sharon Oja in the lead role alongside Omonio Boli, Patrick Doyle, Shagwan Rinze, and many others. The movie is also set to be exclusively released on Netflix on the 2nd of October. Check this out. Ooh, you want. So many people said me to. Ah, damn. So when this, trailer, when this trailer came out yesterday, mm -hmm. Sharon Oja was trending. People were like, ah, it's great to see Sharon Oja playing another character than the usual sports brat, rich girl, rich yeah. daughter in a movie. Uh, Oluture is, um, it sounds very interesting to me. I don't know where this name is from. I don't know whether it's a Do Delta. I really don't know. I would really like to know, and I would really like to know the meaning because you see the, all the accents on it. Mm -hmm. I'd really like to know what the meaning is. I, I remember watching this last year. Um, they had like a private screening, so okay. attended courtesy of Bukola, mm -hmm. who is also in, in the, the movie. movie. Mm -hmm. So uh, I tell you guys, this is a good movie. That's mm. all I Don't can spoil say. it for us. It's a good movie. That's all I can say. Okay. 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 <laughs> all right. So moving on, let's talk about Can Believe the Whole 30 Yards. This one is a must watch for romance movie lovers and it's set to release in the cinemas worldwide, nationwide, I meant to say, on October the 16th. Director Kaya De Kasum tells the story of Can Believe, a 20 year, a 20 year 
a 28-year-old lady whose only dream of getting married before 30 gets shattered a few days before her 29th birthday when she is dumped because of her extravagant way of life. Campbell, played by Nancy Isime, then embarks on a plan to convince her boyfriend she called B is dream woman. Other actors include Elvina Ibru, Vanessa Akpofure, Uzo Arukwe, Tony Abraham, and others. You're really going to make me say this, aren't you? Bounce back. You know Don't nothing you about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm honestly looking forward to this one. Um, Kaede Kasum has a thing for like comedy, seeing you know Sugar Rush and all of that. I'm like, I'm look, I'm excited about this one. I'm looking forward to it. The crazy story behind it, seeing yeah. Mauli, seeing J.K. Swanky, I was Swanky J.K. Yeah. I'm Sharon Oja. No, it's true because sometimes I say J.K. Swanky, I'm like, no, it's J.K. Swanky. So okay, Swanky J.K. J.K. Swanky, <laughs> and Nancy's character, Tony uh, Abraham. Benita, Tony Abraham. Say Kambili, Kambali. Which one is the name? <laughs> Tony kills it all the, the time. time. Honestly. I can't wait. I love everything that has Tony in it. All right, Honestly. let's go on a commercial break and we'll return. Yes, guys, welcome back. If you're just joining us, well, this is Daily Top 5. And where have you been? Like, wow. where have you been? Sorry, sorry. Oh, you've missed out the first three things. So, we're talking about top five movies, the most anticipated Nollywood movies right now. Number four on the list is Fate of Alakada. Yes, you love to Abraham, then I'm sure you'll be excited about this one. The Wedding Planner. Now, with the many spin off from the original Alakada movie, I would have thought that the story was done and dusted in OJ's voice. But Tony Abraham is set to deliver another hilarious comedy film from the Alakada franchise. In the movie, Yet in the Anima Shaun takes us on an adventure as she navigates through the workings of planning parties alongside her dramatic sidekick, brother Shaggy. However, the inexperienced Tony Abraham still hasn't changed as she continues to lie about her financial and social status. The much anticipated movie features Tony Abraham, brother Shaggy, Davido, Kobam Zaku, Asukwa, Peruzi, and in fact, the whole industry. Well, guys, the movie was initially set to be released in April this year, but then the release date was moved to um, 1st of October and it will be released in cinemas nationwide. <laughs> Wait, Another wait, wait, wait. Another Kaede Kasum project. Why are you not in this movie? Because everybody's there. Okay, so honestly, let me know. Like, the day she, when she reached out, um, I had something the day she wanted me to come. So oh, it was okay. clashing with the first exhibition okay. I had. So I begged that. Okay. She should not be angry. Okay. Only part, why are you not in this movie? Everybody's there. Yeah, I just want to say that um, they dragged the Alakada for too long. Go like, <laughs> Alakada, Alakada reloaded. Alakada, this, is the, this, this one is, party is now planner. fate of Alakada. Alakada. The party planner. Oh, wow, the party planner. Uh, you go feel it. has the whole world Industry. in it. Yeah. Yeah. I love it because, I mean, Kade Kasum never gets it wrong mm -hmm. with comedy mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. And also because... From the trailer alone, you can see all the madness that's going to happen. I'm, I'm looking forward to that Davido scene. Is it that she's going to be planning our Chivido? Because you know we were the ones in charge of our Shwebi, you know. And we're not going to allow anyone to take over. Don't go past your boundary. Don't pass your boundary. We are the ones in charge of our Shwebi. I want to really watch this one. So we're waiting October 1st. We'll meet you there. But they were this one. Um, back to reality, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Yes. Was it really? <laughs> They're lying. <laughs> Wrapping up our daily top five. Number five, this lady called Life. Yes, this lady called Life is another one by Coyote Kasum. It follows the story of Bisola Ayeola, who plays the role of Aye, an ambitious cook and single mother who hopes to become a renowned chef. Love, struggle, and drama are some of the themes which heavily drive the movie. The movie also stars Efa Iwara, Wale Ojo, Tina Umba, Jemima Osunde, and so many others. The Lady Called Live is set to be released in cinemas October 9th. Check this out. <laughs> I am I, I, I am Aye. You want to tell me that oh this is not enough. I, I saw the trailer. <laughs> I saw the trailer of this interesting stuff. Uh, well done to Efa, well done to Bisola. I mean, I can't Jemima. wait to see this. I really, really do Honestly. love, uh, you know, what I see already. So, I mean, that name, meaningful, Aye. Why would they name you Aye? Aye. Like, life, Aye. Hmm. Aye could even life. mean so many things. Yeah. Like, Aye, 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 Aye. 
Wow, 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 guys. Really? Yeah. On that note, that's all we have for you on today's Daily Top 5. I really enjoyed this one. We'll be back after this. A break for What Are You Watching? Stay here with us. Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome back to the show. What are you watching is back again as usual. Yes, we'll yes, tell girl. you. Yes, yes, y'all. <laughs> wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. As, yeah. As <laughs> usual, we'll tell you about some of the movies and shows we recently watched. We'd also love to hear about yours later on. So tweet at us at TV Connect with the hashtag e Splash on TVC. TVC. So who's going first? Many money. Oh, yeah, go first. Me. <laughs> Are you always going first? Should I catch you? No. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, what are you watching? Adako. Eh? No. Nothing. What are you watching? Movie title. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been. I feel good saying that. I watched the series rather. I mean, I didn't watch a movie. It was a series. Um, thanks for That's the hookup. That's not Yoruba, by the way. Wow, really? You had to do that? Drag me. All right. Thanks for hooking me up, OJ. Um, I got season one to four of Insecure from OJ. And I watched that. So, yes. Actors in the film include Issa Rae, Yvonne Oji, Jay Ellis, who plays Lawrence, her boyfriend, and many other people. Now, movie plot. This is not a movie, so it's a series. And I watched series episode, and season one it. to four. <laughs> so I would try to just put it in the box. This is about, this is, this, this just um, revolves um, around the life of two um, African, black American women who we see their struggle through their careers, their relationships. Um, Issa Rae, who, who actually plays Issa, her first name, um, she works with a non-profit organization which is benefited by like young age, middle aged um, students, you know. So she's struggling and she had, she had like a perfect relationship that she went to Shao Gua and mm -hmm. laughed. Sha, like our topic yesterday, she went to cheat Cheat. and she didn't tell. She didn't confess, so everything now castigates. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Yvonne Oji plays the character Molly, mm -hmm. um, that is Issa Rae's best friend, and she's a successful attorney. But then you see no her struggle with like, dating men. <laughs> I really love this series, and what made this um, series interesting for me is the fact that it's very relatable. Um, with Issa Rae, I've been there, and being there, I'd not cheat. I'm just saying that. You know how life is, like after you break up or you leave a relationship, how difficult it is for you both to move on because you're still thinking, are we going to get back together? And then as the day goes by, things start to dawn on you. You see that your ex has a new girlfriend. The girlfriend happens to be your partner. You better move on. It's like, it's just awkward. And this was the scene where he was telling her that, you know, <laughs> um, what scene stuck out for me has to be season four, where Lawrence had the F1 tree. Yeah, but encouragement <laughs> and courage. So we're telling Issa that he, she should please stop talking about him with his new girlfriend. <sighs> I felt like that was very unnecessary because... Unnecessary. It, unnecessary. <laughs> it, it's not like they both sit down oh, and talk no. about him. Because even when, the, when his name comes up in their conversation, there's a bit of awkwardness. But, you know, they were just, oh, some something being Lawrence. And he goes to tell her to talk... So not to talk about him with Condola, who is his new girlfriend. I me, mean, I just put myself in this situation. What will I do if my ex comes to tell me that? First, you already have a new girlfriend. <laughs> that is hot. Hotter than me, so much. Then you now come and tell me I should not be discussing you. Ah, you off me. But for the fact that it's a series and I watched it in two days, I would rate it 9.5 because oh, I don't want to give it 10 over 10. I think you must have really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. Like, I did not do anything. That's Saturday and Sunday. Ah, chills, oh, chills. I loved it. So yeah, insecure. Thanks for the plug. Okay, movie you're welcome. Plug. You're welcome. Uh, what movie did I watch? Um, I watched uh, an Hollywood movie, mm -hmm. Lara and the Beats. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is it because of Vector in it? Actors in this movie includes um, Shei Ishe, um, Olari Waju Ogumefu, aka Vector. <laughs> Tony Tones was in this one. Uh, Some Kele Idalama, uh, Uche Jumbo, Wale Ojo, a whole lot of people were in this movie. Sharon Ojatu was in this movie. Like everybody was in this movie. Um, the movie plot is about a family, the Giwa sisters, who are struggling to um, overcome what has befallen, what, what they are going through right now because they kicked them out of their father's empire because mm -hmm. their parents, uh, they said they defrauded their company. Their company or yeah, their company was defrauding, not paying their tax. So they had to evict them from their house. So this, these two girls are now trying to survive. Mm -hmm. And of course, aside surviving, trying to clean their name, their parents' name, who are obviously late. Uh, what made the movie interesting for me, I just love the fact that Sheishi was playing a character in the movie and she was looking like 
That's how you'll be in real life, being a diva. No, I just felt, I don't think any other character would have done it well. Shay Shay was a singer. She killed as an actor. Yeah. Just yeah. say that. Don't okay. say that. Because people will forget. Yeah, yeah. She killed her character mm -hmm. in the movie. No pun yeah. intended. No pun intended, yes. <laughs> uh, we since talk out for me. Uh, it has to be the part where they came to evict them from the house. And instead of people are busy struggling, like, oh, they're chasing us from here. She, she was busy with, oh, my designer bag, my designer shoe. Crazy, crazy movie, by the way. Um, how will I rate this movie over 10? I'll give it seven. <laughs> Seven over ten. Why well, you think seven is good? I'll give it seven over ten. I it should be lesser. Why? Because of a particular character, Abby. No. I I love the storyline, by the way. You do. So they were singing. There was the singing part. Chine do was in the movie. movie. Another part stuck out for me in the studio when they wanted to beat him as a short man. He was the chairman of the <laughs> studio. Very wow. crazy, hilarious movie. Fun to watch. So seven over ten. Okay. Seven over Interesting. 10. Okay. Lara and the Beats. Okay. So what did I watch? I watched um, John Q for like the opt-in time. It's an old movie. It's a 2002 movie. And uh, well, you have uh, Denzel Washington in it. You have Kimberly LC in it. You have James Woods. You have uh, Danielle Smith. Uh, it goes on and on like that. And uh, well, the story centers on uh, a family that is John Q. Archibald's family with his wife, Denise, and their child, Michael. Now, Michael just a uh, took ill all of a sudden and he needed a life-saving transplant. Now, uh, the father, uh, Denzel Washington, wasn't doing so like well. He wasn't earning so much, so he couldn't even afford it. And he wow. was going to do all it takes to save the child. At some point, he was just shouting, like, I want my child to bury me. I don't want to bury my child. Aww. You know, and it's, <laughs> it's a hostage movie that has a moral twist to it. It's such an interesting one, like, you know, uh, it's, it comes with a whole lot of emotions too, yeah, when you see a family and at some point it was even going to say that you know what just kill me and take my heart since no heart was actually matching the child's heart oh, and sure. at that point you know they needed the That's... child to be alive and it was almost going to shoot himself and then let him take the heart until something now happens all right it's such an interesting one it's an old one as i said earlier but then i think you should check it out and what stuck out for me uh <clears throat> where he had to hold everybody <laughs> hostage <laughs> in the hospital and then a lot of people were outside please were outside like and then it was like you know what you have to do something it's... for my child uh... i want to bury my, i want my child to bury me i don't want to, uh... to bury my child uh... all right how would i rate it i would rate it eight over ten it was a beautiful one i mean i think eight is good mm -hmm. very very good Absolutely. and uh, i think it's something that i would like to recommend to anybody who has not seen it john q mm. Now you guys know what we recently watched or we're currently watching. We'll take a break now and when we come back, we'd love to hear from you. Which Nigerian or international films or shows did you recently watch and what made them interesting? Who were the actors in the film? What were your favorite scenes? And what is your rating? Stay with us. Alrighty, so we move quickly to the tweets. We have Tapshack underscore Amos here says, I watch Alexa Rator. It is the story of a car thief who str struggles or strum stumbles onto a teleportation or teleportation device and the girl of the, his dreams. They soon find themselves chased across the globe by the FBI, CIA and drug assassin, all of whom wants the device at all costs. Mm, I, like this one. I like this one. This one is <laughs> from at... Mr. Underscore Funom, and he says, I'm watching a movie titled The Gentleman. I will rate it 8 over 10. Wow. At NC Underscore Frame says, watch vampire movie, The Priest. It's an 8 over 10 for me. Interesting. Okay, okay we've got Favor Underscore Killing here, who says, Eve, it's about a psycho female assassin and an XMI6 agent who's trying to catch the assassin, but the assassin and the agent have a crush on each other. Hey. What just finishes me is how the lady kills without remorse. I just started season two on a scale of one to ten. I'll rate it seven. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Serious. Hmm. Okay. Well, moving over to Facebook, John Nell says, I'm currently watching Pinch. It's a very interesting Yoruba movie. I also watched Annabelle, even though it's an old movie. I still enjoy it. Yoruba movie, Pinch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pinch. Pinch is Pinch. Okay. It's pinch. Jalik, pinch. Jalik, Jalik, Pinch. <laughs> okay. Titled Yoruba movie, Pinch. Wow. 
Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for doing this with us. It's been so beautiful riding with you. And this is where we coast home. Yay! I see that the weather is actually changed outside because, you know, it's about to rain or it's raining God already do, where God you do, are. God do. Ah, weather for two, pregnancy for one. But then we'll see you tomorrow. The gang will be here. Thank you on behalf of these beautiful people. Ari, care with the dimples. And OJ, my name is Sonny Potts. I don't know what is wrong with them. You said pregnancy for one. That's number two. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're familiar.